method 2 of partial fraction. So, how to solve problems in method 2? We will see what is method 2 first. So, let f of x by g of x be a proper fraction. First, the given fraction should be proper fraction. Next, for each factor ax plus b whole power n, where g of x, there will be a partial fractions of the form, means in denominator, repeated linear factors. ax plus b whole power n means repeated linear factors. Then we have to take partial fractions of the form a1 by ax plus b plus a2 by ax plus b whole square means increasing power of denominator we have to take 1, 2, 3 up to so on n. Numerator is same a1, a2 up to so on an means a, b, c like that constants we can take and in denominator we have to take increasing powers. So, given fraction should be partial fractions and denominator repeated linear factor should be there then we have to take partial fractions of the form a by first factor power 1 plus b by increasing power ax plus b whole square plus c by ax plus b whole cube like that we have to take increasing powers now we will see one problem x square minus x plus 1 by x plus 1 into x minus 1 whole square now you see in this problem, first one is non-repeated linear factor, but here it is repeated linear factor, whole square is there. First one is x plus 1 as it is, but here x minus 1 whole square, it is repeated linear factor. So, what are the partial fractions we have to take for this? So, x plus 1 into x minus 1 whole square. First one is non-repeated a by x plus 1, this is completed. Now, second factor b by x minus 1 plus c by increasing power x minus 1 whole square means here x minus 1 whole square means repeat uh, increasing power we have to take first power 1 power 2 constants b c like that okay so this is equation 1 now what is the lcm whatever be the denominator of lhs that will be our rhs lcm so what you'll get x plus 1 into x minus 1 whole square so now here what is the denominator first fraction x plus 1 x plus 1 x plus 1 same what is missing x minus 1 whole square so a into x minus 1 whole square plus c x minus 1 is there x plus 1 is missing x minus 1 whole square means one time it is missing so b into x plus 1 into x minus 1 plus c into x minus 1 whole square same what is missing x plus 1 so LHS as it is x square minus x plus 1 by x plus 1 into x minus 1 whole square. Denominator, denominator get cancelled. So, what you will get x square minus x plus 1 is equal to a into x minus 1 whole square plus b into x plus 1 into x minus 1 plus c into x plus 1 equation 2. So, now substitution method we will get the values, two values. If you substitute x is equal to 1. So, put x equal to 1 on both sides of equation 2. Equation 2 implies 1 square minus 1 plus 1 is equal to a into plus 1 minus 1, 0. So, this is 0 plus b into plus 1 minus 1, 0 plus c into x plus 1 means in place of x, 1, 1 plus 1. So, minus 1 plus 1 cancel 1. These two are zeros, no need of writing. C into 1 plus 1, 2. So, what is the value of C? If you take C 2 to the opposite side, it will be Y. So, C is equal to 1 by 2. Now, we got the values C. Now, next substitution method in place of X, we have to take minus 1. So, put X equal to minus 1 on both sides of equation 2. So, equation 2 implies in place of x we have to substitute minus 1, minus 1 whole square minus in place of x minus 1 plus 1 is equal to a into in place of x minus 1 minus 1 whole square plus b into it will become 0 plus c into it is also become 0. So, minus 1 whole square plus 1 minus into minus plus 1 plus 1 is equal to a into minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 whole square. So, these two become 0. 1 plus 1 plus 1, 3. 
is equal to a into minus 2 whole square 4. So what is the value of a? 3 by 4. Now we got two values a and c. Now further we cannot do any substitution method. Now to find the value of b, what we have to do is we have to go for comparing the coefficients. So how to compare the coefficients? So now you see x minus 1 whole square can be written as x square plus 1 minus 2x a minus b whole square formula. So uh, what I will do is I will compare the coefficient of x square on both sides. So what we have to do now comparing the coefficient of x square on both sides of equation 2. So that implies what you will get coefficient of x square here. So 1 here what we have LHS 1 RHS x square coefficient 1 into a a. Now here if you multiply these two brackets what you will get x square minus x plus x minus 1 minus x x plus x cancel. So what is the coefficient of x square 1 into b b here we don't have any x square. So 1 is equal to what is the value of a 3 by 4 3 by 4 plus b since a is equal to 3 by 4. So plus 3 by 4 if you take to the opposite side minus 3 by 4. So LCM 4 cross multiplication 4 minus 3. So 4 minus 3 1 1 by 4. So b value how much 1 by 4. Now we got all the values a b c. So substitute a comma b comma c values in equation 1. Equation 1 implies so what you will get x square minus x plus 1 by x plus 1 into x minus 1 whole square is equal to a. a value how much 3 by 4 3 by 4 into x plus 1 plus b value 1 by 4 1 by 4 into x minus 1 plus c value 1 by 2 1 by 2 into x minus 1 whole square. So this is the method we have to follow when we have repeated linear factors. So similar problems you can try. So this is same problem. One is non-repeated, one is re repeated linear factor. Here also repeated non-repeated linear factors. Here also this is repeated, this is non-repeated. So how to take partial fractions a by x plus b by x square, a by x plus b by x square plus c by x cube plus d by x plus a. So like this we have to take partial fractions for this. So it is repeated same a by x minus 3 plus b by x minus 2 plus c by x minus 3 whole cube. So similarly here x minus 1 whole power 4, 4 factors you will get. In this problem denominator x cube plus x square is there. x square common. So x plus 1. Now you have to take a by x plus b by x square plus c by x plus 1. So these two similar problems. So these are the related problems we have in method 2. So you can try. Okay.